I think it's interesting that these two songs both start with the word uh, cork. It's like, you graph out the way that my songs start, and this is the number one way. <laughs> it's really hard to play live, so bear with me. Well, a quirk can never exist by itself in isolation. Something very odd happens when you try to separate them. The energy it takes to break up those two best friends is just enough to create two more to join back up with them. And a photon has no mass, and thus it draws the light speed. You can imagine going that fast. If you try, I think you might be. You'd be emitted and absorbed both in the exact same instant, even if you traveled from a place 13 billion light years distant. Cause the universe is weird. I'm kind of freaking out. What the heck is this all about? A strong charge as strong as a proton and a tiny mass but not non-existent like the photon. And you might want to take a seat now, because this might blow your mind. It has a mass and charge but not apparently a size. And there's a lot of stuff all around you right now. Your chair, your friend, your planet, and your sister's neighbor's cow, and all that money, mass, and energy is all we know and understand, but it's only 4% of what the universe has at hand. Cause the universe is weird, I'm kind of freaking out. What the heck is this all about? Infinite, unbounded, sets, and hadronizing, gluon jets, and Once upon a time, and it, no, wait, yes, yes, okay. I was driving in a van with my brother, and I said, hey, John, guess what? Like, do no edge, because the user is something that's in any way we can conceive it. No, sit in a wedge, no matter that, whether or not you can believe it. And once upon a time, in a gassy liquid stew, a molecule was like, hey, I turned me into you. This may be the biggest mystery of all the ones in which we dwell, how the universe created a tool with which to know itself.